My dear students, in this video, we will discuss recursive post order traversal. In post order, first the left subtree is processed in post order, then the right subtree is processed in post order, at last the root is processed, meaning the processing of the root is postponed after the processing of the left subtree and right subtree. Therefore, the name post. Recursive function for post order is as follows the name of the function is post order, and the parameter is the root of the tree. If root is not equal to null, process the left subtree in post order using recursion, then process the right subtree in post order using recursion. At last, you process the root node. Print of root information meaning process the root node. Consider the following binary tree. So, A is the root of the tree. So, we will call post order of A. Left chain of A is B. Therefore, we will call post order of B. Right chain of A is C. Therefore, we will call post order of C. Then display A. Yes. Now, let us go to post order of B. Left chain of B is null. Therefore, it is post order of null. Right chain of B is null. Therefore, again it is post order of null. And then you display B. Yes. And post order of null means when root is null, nothing will happen. Again, post order of null, when root is null, nothing will happen. B is the first one to be displayed. So, post order of B is over. Next, we will come to post order of C. Left chain of C is null. Therefore, it is post order of null. Again, right chain of C is null. Therefore, it is post order of null. Then, you display C. So, post order of null, when root is null, nothing will happen. Again, post order of null, when root is null, nothing will happen. C is the second one to be displayed. So, post order of C is over. After that, we have to display A. That is, A is the third one to be displayed. Therefore, we first displayed B. Then we displayed C. At last, we displayed A. The post order for the given tree is B, C, A. I think the post order recursive is quite simple. Let us consider a little bigger tree. Yes. Here also A is the root node. We will call post order of A. Left chain of A is B. Therefore, post order of B. Right chain of A is C. Therefore, post order of C. Then display A. Now, we will come to post order of B. B is not equal to null. Left chain of B is D. Therefore, post order of D. Right chain of B is E. Therefore, post order of E. And then display B. Now, let us go to post order of D. D is not equal to null. Uh, left chain of D is null. Therefore, post order of... Yes. Null. Post order of D. Left null. Again, right chain of D is null. Therefore, post order of null. And display D. Now, post order of null. When root is null, nothing will happen. Again, post order of null. When root is null, nothing will happen. D is the first one to be displayed. Good. After that, we will come to post order of E. There is no left chain for E. Therefore, it is post order of null. There is no right chain for E. Therefore, it is post order of null and display E. Now, post order of null, when root is null, nothing will happen. Again, when root is null, nothing will happen. E is the second one to be displayed. Very good. Post order of E is over. Next, we have to display B. B is the third one to be displayed. Very good. Next, we will go to post order of C. The left chain of C is F. Therefore, post order of F. Right chain of C is G. Therefore, it is post order of G. And we have to display C. Let us come to post order of F. F is not equal to null. Therefore, left chain of F is null. Therefore, it is post order of null. Right chain of F is null. Therefore, it is post order of null. And we have to display F. Post order of null, root is equal to null. Nothing will happen. Again, post order of null, root is equal to null. Nothing will happen. F is the fourth to be displayed. After that, we will go to post order of G. There is no left chain for G. Therefore, post order of null. There is no right chain for G. Therefore, post order of null. And display G. Post order of null, when root is equal to null, nothing will happen. Again, when root is equal to null, nothing will happen. G is the fifth to be displayed. So, post order of G is over. After that, we display C. So, C is the sixth to be displayed. So, post order of C is also over. Next, A will be the seventh to be displayed. So, uh, the first to be displayed is D, second to be displayed is E, third to be displayed is B, fourth to be displayed is F, fifth is G, sixth is C, and seventh is A. Therefore, the post order traversal is D, E, B, F, G, 
C A. This is the post order traversal of the given tree. I think the recursive post order is quite simple, quite straightforward.